Hey, it's Dave here. Imagine being able to train ChatGPT on an entire YouTube channel. Every single video, every single idea, so that ChatGPT becomes like your own personal expert that knows everything that that content creator who created that YouTube channel knows. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a hack that makes that possible, and I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. And wait until the last step, because that's where the magic really happens. The reason why I did this is simple. I've got a YouTube channel, and I put hundreds of hours creating all these videos, uploading all kinds of content. Mine is specifically around organic Facebook marketing. But when I wanted ChatGPT to be able to think like me and write content like me, it wasn't possible because ChatGPT doesn't watch YouTube videos. It doesn't know all the information that I've inputted into these videos. Therefore, when I was asking it to create content like I do, it simply was asking ChatGPT to do the impossible. I needed a way to train ChatGPT on my entire YouTube channel, all the content, all the ideas in every single video. And that's how I discovered this hack. And you can use this as well. You can train ChatGPT on your entire YouTube channel or on anyone else's YouTube channel. And it'll come away knowing everything that that channel creator knows. The possibilities are endless. Let's dive in. So in order to train ChatGPT on an entire YouTube channel, there are several steps and we're gonna be using three tools along the way. The first step is to create a playlist of your entire YouTube channel. So I'm gonna show you this tool over here. This is what we're gonna be using. It's youtube-transcript.io and you wanna to go to this specific page here, forward slash channels. This is what we're gonna to use to create what's called a playlist of an entire channel. So as an example over here, I'm gonna take the URL. You can see I've got the URL of my YouTube channel. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna go back over to this tool and we're gonna input that URL for my YouTube channel into this tool here and then click on the button here. It says get channel info. You'll notice it says enter YouTube channel to retrieve the channel ID and generate a playlist URL. So let's do this. What it's gonna do, it's gonna go away and takes my channel and it gives me this channel ID, but really what I wanna do is go over here, let's go over to this tab, click on playlist, and then you wanna copy this URL. And what this is, it's a URL that basically has compiled all of your videos into this one URL. And you're gonna see why this is very important in just a second, but for right now, all you need to do is go and click on the copy button, that's the first step. The second step is to take this URL right here and we wanna be able to get all the information from each video that's included in this new playlist that we just created. Here's the second tool that we're gonna use. Same URL, so we're gonna to go to youtube transcript.io but this time type in forward slash bulk and you can see here it says this is an experimental feature but it works quite well what i'm going to do is i'm going to go down to this input box right here and i'm going to paste in the url that we just created a second ago with the playlist of all the videos from that specific youtube channel and then go ahead and click on this button that says get playlist and what it's going to do is it's going to go through that url the first url we created it's going to find all the individual videos that are included in that url and it's going to pull them up individually over here and so you can see that url contained 300 videos and that's all the videos on my personal youtube channel that we're using as an example and now what you can do is you can go through your entire list here and you can manually click on any of these videos that you want to include that you want to train chat gpt on in my case what i'm going to do is i'm just going to say i'm going to select all 300 out of 300 and then you want to go and click on this button here that says fetch selected. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that button and you're going to get a pop up here that says confirm usage. It says to do this, it's going to take up to 300 tokens because I'm extracting the information from 300 videos. Now, what are these tokens? Well, it is a payment system. So to take this step using this tool, there is a payment. I paid $9 for a month to use this system and that gave me all the tokens that I needed. So you are gonna to wanna to make sure that you have some tokens and I'll just show you up here. The easiest way to get that is just click on pricing. We'll open this up and you can see the different plans here. Again, for $9.99, you can get all the tokens that you're gonna need. And then after you follow these steps and you have all the information from the YouTube channel or channels that you wanna train ChatGPT on, you can obviously go ahead and cancel the subscription. So it'll cost you $9.99. I'm gonna click on again, fetch selected. I'm gonna confirm and fetch selected. And then what the software is doing right now, what this tool is doing is it's going through all of the videos on that playlist, all 300 of them, and it's finding the transcripts. So it's getting every single transcript for all the videos. And that's really what we want because that's the teaching, that's the knowledge base that we're gonna be using to train ChatGPT on in just a second. And you can see the confirmation there. It says 300 transcripts fetched successfully. So what you can do now is you can click on this button here. It says download selected. I've still got all 300 videos selected and I want to download all of the transcripts that we just fetched from those 300 videos. 
and you can choose a file format. So just keep this as a text file. And then I'm gonna actually turn off the timing. The reason being is we're gonna use these text files, the transcripts for each of the videos. And I'm gonna show you a neat way that you can take all of these transcripts and use them to train ChatGPT on. And we don't wanna include the timing of the video because this just adds more information that could be confusing when we do the training process in a second. So this is what you want your setup to look like and then click on download transcripts. And you'll see that right here, the transcripts were downloaded into a zip file. And I'm gonna click on this little folder icon to open up the folder where this zip file is located. And you'll see it's right here. And I'm just gonna double click on this zip file and that'll extract the contents of that zip file. And let's go into this folder here, it says transcripts. When we go in here, you can see the progress we've made so far. We took an entire YouTube channel, we made it into a playlist URL. We used that URL to fetch all the video transcripts for that entire YouTube channel. Then we downloaded those transcripts into these text files and we've unzipped them here. So we've got all these text files. And so you might think, great, that's all you need. You can now take all these text files and just give them to ChatGPT, train ChatGPT on these text files, and then it'll know all the information from this YouTube channel. And that would be nice, except for there is a problem. And the problem is that ChatGPT, it has a limit as to the number of files that you can upload to a custom GPT. And we're gonna see that in a second. And this is way too many files. ChatGPT won't allow me to upload all these. So I needed another hack that will allow us to take all these different files, compile them into one big file, and then upload that to ChatGPT. And here's the hack, the workaround that I like to use. I'm gonna go over to this website. It's called ilovemerge.com and then forward slash text. And we're gonna be merging all those text files into one big file. Now, there are other tools you can find online that do this same function. This is the one that I used. So I'm gonna click on this, it says browse or just drag and drop your files here. I'm gonna click on browse and here's the transcripts folder. I'm gonna double click on that and then I'm gonna highlight all the files, 300 text files. I'm gonna click on open and you'll see down here, there are all the files. So they're all added to this project. And what I wanna do is use this tool to right here, merge them all together. I'm gonna to click on merge. And it's very, very quick. You can see right away what it did is it created this file. It says, I love merge dot text. Again, I'm gonna open this up in my folder here. And let's just take a look at what's inside this new file here, this I love merge. So I'm gonna open this up and you'll see it looks like just a really long text file, which is exactly what it is. It took 300 individual text files and compiled the contents of each into this one massive text file. Now this wouldn't be so helpful if you or I were trying to use this text file, it'd be really hard to extract any information from it. But for ChatGPT, this is actually a perfect training source. Let me show you how we're gonna use it. I'm gonna go over to ChatGPT and then I'm gonna click on this GPTs. And this is where you can discover and create custom versions of ChatGPT that combine instructions, extra knowledge, and any combination of skills. So this is the one that we're really excited about right here, extra knowledge. We just extracted all of the knowledge from an entire YouTube channel. And now we wanna give this to a custom GPT that will then be an expert in all of that knowledge. Well, how do you do this? You can go right up here and create your own custom GPT. In this case, I've already done this, so I'm gonna click on my GPTs. And this is the one that I'm interested in right here. It's called YouTube Script Writer. And so you can imagine for me, what I wanted ChatGPT to help me with is I wanted it to understand all the videos on my existing YouTube channel, and then I wanted it to be able to write new video scripts for me. And so that's exactly what I built right here. So I'm gonna click on this custom GPT and I'm gonna edit it. So I'm gonna click on the down arrow here and I'm gonna edit GPT. But if this is a brand new custom GPT, this is the screen you're gonna land on. This is where you give your custom GPT instructions as to what it's gonna be used for. So in my case, I've already given it a bunch of prompts. This custom GPT, I've told it, it's a expert at writing YouTube scripts. I've told it what my YouTube channel is about. I've given it all kinds of instructions as to the formatting of the YouTube scripts that I want it to create. But now we're gonna give it a special knowledge base to draw from. We're gonna give it that text file that we just created. Here's how to do this. Instead of being on the create tab, we wanna go over to the configure tab, and then you wanna scroll down here and you can see knowledge. Conversations with your GPT can potentially reveal part or all of the files that are uploaded here. And you can see I've already uploaded that merged text file. But in your case, if you haven't done this yet, simply click on upload files, and then we're gonna just go and find that file. And there it is right there. And then you can just click on that and then open it up. And then that will upload to your custom GPT. And once that file is here, 
This custom GPT can now draw on all the information that's included in this file, as well as all of its typical sources. And this is really important to understand. This custom GPT, it's not limited to only the information in this document that you just uploaded. It still has access to all the same information that chat GPT would, but now it's got an additional source of very specific data that regular chat GPT does not have. And if you're getting excited about this, you can start to see the potential of why you'd want to train chat GPT on an entire YouTube channel. Go ahead and hit the like button on this video. That'd really help with the algorithm to show this to more people. And it'll tell me that I should share more AI hacks like this in the future. So now let's take a look at the result. What did we get from doing all this? Well, I'm gonna go back over here to my custom GPT and I'm gonna exit out of here and let's use this tool. So here it is, my YouTube script writer. It says, write me a YouTube script about how to boost your Facebook post engagement for more leads. And this is exactly the type of YouTube videos that I've created in the past. So now this custom GPT should have all the information it needs to go and create a YouTube script that's laid out exactly how I like my YouTube videos to be laid out. And with my unique knowledge, my flavor, my tone, all the things that make me and my YouTube videos me. So let's go ahead and click on start here and we'll see very quickly ChatGPT. It's now going over to that knowledge base that we just uploaded and it's gonna start writing this script. It includes a hook, a starting to the YouTube video, an intro, so it takes the same intro that I use in all my YouTube videos. And then it goes on to deliver some value, to give some teaching points that will help people boost their Facebook algorithm so that their posts get seen by a bigger audience. Now let's go and take a look at what it's actually teaching in here. And there's a couple of things that stood out right away that made me excited. First off, this right here. It talks about specific types of posts, polls and two-step posts. And these are tactics that I teach all the time on my YouTube channel. And so clearly this custom GPT, it's gone through that document we uploaded and it knows these strategies are effective for boosting a Facebook algorithm. And so it's included some teaching around those two types of posts. Here's another example. When we come down here, you can see that it directs users into their professional dashboard, which is also something that I teach all the time over on my YouTube channel. And it talks about the specific steps that they should go through to figure out what type of content's working well and therefore should be replicated. Again, this is a strategy that's taken right from the knowledge base that we just uploaded into this custom GPT. So clearly this is unique information that's taken directly from that text file that we just uploaded. Here's one more down here. It talks about a tool that I use called Unipro. And this is something that I talk about in so many of my YouTube videos. It's this tool called Unipro that I created that helps with organic reach on Facebook. So my custom GPT, now it knows all about Unipro and it can insert that directly into the scripts that it's writing on my behalf. Pretty cool, right? So there you have it. There's the hack that will take any YouTube channel download all the contents, all the knowledge, all the ideas from that YouTube channel and put them into a package that's uploadable to ChatGPT so that you can create your own custom GPT that knows everything from that YouTube channel. And this is a strategy that I use to grow my online businesses, but I also have a secret weapon that ChatGPT was just talking about a second ago, and that's Unipro. Unipro is an amazing Facebook marketing tool that goes out onto Facebook, it finds your ideal leads, it brings those leads over into your audience, and it makes sure that those leads see your content so that they can be nurtured faster and so that they can be made offers at the time they're most likely to buy from you. If you're growing an online business and you use Facebook to do so, you gotta check out Unipro. Go over to unipro.com. That's what I got for you in this video, all about how to train ChatGPT on an entire YouTube channel. If this was helpful, give it a like. And if you have any questions about these steps or the tools I used along the way, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. I'm happy to help out. And again, if you're growing an online business and you use Facebook to do so, you gotta check out Unipro. Go over to unipro.com. It's really gonna help your business grow a whole lot faster. Thanks for checking out this video. Can't wait to see it in the next video.